In this video, we are going to show you step by step how you can create a professional and beautiful looking Shopify store, just like this, in less than 30 minutes. This video is going to be a complete walkthrough video so that you can easily follow along and set up your Shopify store from complete scratch. So, let's start the video. First, visit Shopify.com. Or you can also click on the first link which is given in the video description. That will take you to a page where you can get the latest Shopify offers and discounts. Then click on Start Free Trial. For now, we will skip these questions. Then choose your country, and then click Next. Here, you need to create your Shopify ID. So choose one of these four options to create your account. We will sign up using our Gmail account. This will take us into the dashboard of our Shopify store. Here, on the left-hand side, you'll see this menu. And on the top right, you'll see this setup guide option. This is just a small checklist that you can follow to set up your entire store. The first step is to add some products into the store backend. Adding your products initially will make it easy for you to customize your store quickly. So, let's start adding our products. If you are not seeing this checklist, simply click on the left menu where it says products. Click on add products. And here, we need to put our product name and a short description about the product. Now, if you do not have a description, you can click here and generate a product description using artificial intelligence. To do that, type your keywords here, then select a tone, and then click generate. Then it will generate a small product description for you in no time. You can keep it if you want, or you can select a different tone or keyword to get better results. Then, under Media, we need to add the product photos. And choose the one we want as the main image. Then enter the price of the product. You can enter more specific information here, like the available quantity of the product, the weight of the product and much more. Also, if you have variants like different sizes or colors, you can put them under Variants section. Then click Save. As you can see, the product is added successfully. You can follow the same steps to add more products. Now let's go back to the product list. Here, you can preview your product by clicking on this little eye icon. Now let's go back to the product list. Now let's say you have a huge list of products that you want to import into the store. Simply click on this import button. Here you can bulk import your products all at once. To do that, just make sure that your product information is available in a CSV format. If you don't have your products in CSV, you can download a sample format by clicking here. To import your products, upload your file here. Then check these two boxes and click on continue. Then again click on Import Products. Now depending upon your product list, it may take some time to import all your products. But you can close this dialog box and continue working on your store. Once our products imported successfully, we can now also create collections to organize different types of products that we sell. To do that, click on the left menu where it says Collections. You can see a default collection of homepage. We will delete this collection by selecting it, go to the three dots and click Delete. Then, let's click on Create Collection. Now just like we've added different products, you can add different collections here. You can create different collection of your best-selling products, new arrivals and so on. Just enter your collection name here, add a description if you want. Then, here at the collection type, choose Manual. On the right side, you can add a cover image for your collection. We will leave it empty for now. Then hit save. You can repeat the same process and set up all of your different collections. Once that's done, we need to go back to the products list and assign them to these collections that we've just created. To do that, just select few products, go to the three dots, click on add to collections, and then choose the collections you want to add these products to. Then repeat the same process for all of your collections. 
Now that we've added all our products and collections, it's time for us to start customizing our store. So let's get started. First, we go to online store on the left. Here, you can see that the current theme of our store is the dawn theme. This is a very basic and simple theme. So we will change this first. When you scroll down, you'll find some popular free theme. Click on Explore Free Theme option. You'll redirect it to the Shopify theme store. Here, you'll find hundreds of different themes that you can choose from. Most of the themes are paid themes. But for this store, we are not going to use any paid theme. Personally, we do not like the idea of premium themes at all. But if you still want to use any paid theme in your store, we recommend that you buy it from Envato Elements. This is a market for premium themes at affordable prices. You can find much attractive themes on Envato Elements at a very affordable rate. Anyways, for this store, we are going to use a free theme. And the theme we are going to use is the Refresh theme. This is one of the best free theme for Shopify stores. Just click on Refresh theme. Then click on View Demo Store. Here, you can see an entire Shopify store demo that was built with this refresh theme. You can also preview the demo store on mobile device as well. Once it's done, click on Try Theme on the right. And the theme will be added to your store. Now, when you scroll down, you'll see that the refresh theme has been added to your theme library. Click on this Publish button and confirm. Awesome, now the theme is completely active, which means we can start customizing it. Click on this Customize button, and it will redirect you to the theme editor. Here is where you can customize your store homepage, product pages, collection pages, and so on. You can also look at how your store looks like on different devices and screen sizes by clicking on the desktop icon on the top right and choosing mobile phone for example. However, we are going to edit our store on desktop mode. As you can see here, Shopify has already added a product section, which is showing the products that we added recently. On the left side, you will see the structure of the page. It always starts with a header at the top and a footer at the bottom. And in between, you can see the content of the page, which consists of multiple sections. Shopify has already added these sections here. You can rearrange these sections as per your requirements by simply dragging them up and down. You can also hide these sections by clicking on this little eye icon. And you can also completely remove these sections by clicking on this Remove Section option. If you want to add something new, you can click on Add Section and choose what type of content you'd like to add. Now, for this tutorial video, we will delete all these sections and start from scratch to give you a better overview of this editor or you can also hide them if you want to. Now let's start customizing our store. First, we want to add a logo to our site. To do that, click on this paint brush icon on the left. Then click on logo. Here, click on select image. Then upload your logo here, and then click save. We can also increase or decrease the size of our logo from here. You can also change or remove your logo by using these options. Now let's go back to the sections overview and then click on this announcement bar. Here, we can change this announcement text for the top of this website. This is a good place to put promotional messages, seasonal discounts, and putting something like free shipping worldwide. You can also remove the announcement bar by just deleting the entire text. We can now move on to the hero section of the page. This is the first thing people will see when they visit our store. So, let's click on Add Section. And then we have a couple of options for the Hero section. We recommend you either start with an image with text section, an image banner, or a slideshow, depending on how many images you have that you can use as content. Since we don't have many images for this store, we will keep this simple and go with a slideshow. Here, you can add an image, along with a title, description, and a clear call to action. First, let's click on Select Image. Or you can also explore some free images as well. Here, you can find copyright-free images that you can use on your store. You can find many different categories of images here. You can choose different images from here, 
and select the one that looks great on your store. Now, we want to change the position of this container. To do that, scroll down to where it says Desktop Container Position, and then choose the position you want. We will move it to bottom right. This looks great. Now, we want to change the content of this container. You can change the heading and subheading text from here. Simply delete this demo text and add your own. You can also manage the size of the text from here. Then we want to add a link to the button, which will redirect our visitors to another page or a specific collection. We will send them to our collection of watches. You can change the button style by ticking this box, but we will leave it as it is. Then, you can also increase or decrease the image opacity. You can change the desktop content alignment to right. You can also change the color of this container as well. Awesome! Now, before saving these options, just make sure to preview the content in the mobile view as well. For example, you can see that the image is not looking good in the mobile view. In such cases, you can replace this image with any other image. Or, you can also change the position of your image to make it more responsive. To do that, click on this edit button. Then click on add focal point. Then drag this focal point on the left. And then hit save. As you can see, the image is looking good now. Let's go back to the desktop mode again. To save all the changes, click on save on the top right. The first slide of our slideshow is complete. Now, we will repeat the same process on this second slide. But before that, we want to hide this slide so that it remains unaffected. Now, we are going to follow the same steps on this slide as well. First, we will add an image here. Then we will again change the desktop container position. But this time, we will hide this container from the background. Then, we will change the content alignment as well. Here, we will link this button to another collection. And we will also change the button text as well. Then we will hit save. Of course, we will unhide the first slide as well. Now both slides are looking good and attractive. You can add a third slide if you want, but for this demo store, we will leave it as it is. The first part of our home page is complete. The next section that we are going to add on our home page is a multimedia collage section. We will show our latest products by using this multimedia collage. This is a combination of an image, a product, and a collection. You can rearrange them by dragging them up and down. First, we want to add an image here. So, click on Explore Free Images and choose the one you want. To add a product, click on Product section and select the product that you want to show here. Then click on the Collections section and choose the collection you want to show here. Here, you can see that the image is adjusted automatically. So, we will change this image and add another one that suits this position. Then hit Save. Next, we want to add a collection list here. To do that, click on Add section and choose Collection List. This will be an overview of all the different product collections that we have on our store. So, click on the first collection and then select the collection you want to show here. And do that for all three collections. That's it for our collection list. Now, we can add a few more sections to build our home page even further. For example, we can add a rich text section here and then just add some text about our brand. We can also add an image with text section, or we can just feature in specific product by choosing the featured product section and then selecting the product that we want to show here. You can also add a featured collection section and then feature all of your best selling products here. You can use the multi column section to show some reviews of your product or your brand. You can add collapsible content section to add some FAQ in your page and so on. Feel free to play around with all these different sections that you have available and see for yourself which works the best for the type of online store that you want to create. All right, we are now going to work on the footer of our website. On the footer section, click on Add Block and then select Menu. Repeat the same process, but this time select the image block. 
In the image block, we want to show our store logo. So, click on Select Image, and then select your store logo. Then, on the Quick Links section, we want to add some links of our store policies, like the refund policy, terms and conditions and so on. To do that, we need to go to the store dashboard. So, make sure to save all the changes first. Then let's go back to our store dashboard. Now, click on Settings on the bottom left. And then go to Policies. Here, we can simply generate our policies using the Shopify templates. Simply click on this Create from Template option. But keep in mind that these are just templates, so you should go through them and edit them according to your own information. Once we added all the policies and our contact information, we can hit Save to save all the changes. The next step is to add these policies on the footer of our store. To do that, go to Online Store, click on Navigation, and then click on footer menu. Here, we will delete the search function. Then click on add menu item. Then go to policies. And now we can add all the policies that we've just created. Then click on save menu. Now go back to the store editor and then refresh the page. Then, we should be able to see all the policies in the footer menu. The footer is now complete and our home page is almost completed as well. The only thing we haven't looked at yet is the main menu at the top, which is the main way customers can navigate through the online store. To edit this menu, go back to the Shopify dashboard and then click on Main Menu. Just like we edited our footer menu before, here we can add and delete links on our main menu as well. For now, we will add some of our collections here. After saving the menu, go back to the editor and reload the page to see all the changes. What we're going to look at next are the theme settings which controls the overall style of the website. To access the theme settings, click on the brush icon on the left. Here's where we can match the design of our store with our brand colors and fonts. Under the colors section, you can adjust the primary and secondary colors of your website and these changes will be applied across the entire website. Then under Typography, we can try different fonts and see which one fits the best. Then under Logo, you can set up your browser icon, also known as Favicon. Then go to Social Media and add all your social media links here. These links will be added to the bottom of the store footer. That's all for the theme settings. Next, we want to take a look at the product page of our store. So, let's go up here and switch to the product page. This is the default product page of this theme. Since we've already added products and collections, Shopify has automatically created a product page for us. Just like we added multiple sections on the home page, we can add those sections here on the product page as well. We usually prefer to add an image with text section, a video section, and a multimedia column section into a product page to make it more attractive and conversion friendly. You can try out these different sections and use them as per your product information. And you need to repeat the same process for all of our pages. Like the collection page, collection list page and the contact page. Now let's have a look at our contact page. Here, you can see that Shopify has added a contact form in this page already. But in case if you don't find it here, you can always add a contact form section from this list. Now, the design part of our store is complete. So let's go back to our home page. Since we've made all the changes in the desktop view, it is important to check every section in the mobile view. Here, we need to select mobile view. Then we need to go through every sections and see if any changes are required. For example, the bestseller collection is not looking so good in the mobile view. So, we want to change it a little. On the right hand side, scroll down to where it says mobile layout. Here, we only need to change the number of column. That's it. Now, it is looking much better. Now we also want to preview our product page as well. So, let's go to our product page. Here, when we click on product description, you will see that the customization options are not available. Now let's say you want to change the product description. To do that, go back to your Shopify dashboard. Then go to products. Select the product you want to change. 
and then you'll be able to change all your product information here. Simply add your product description here. And then hit save. Then go back to the store editor and refresh the page. And all your changes will be visible here. Awesome! Now, we can finally say that the designing part of our store is complete. Now, we are going to have a look at some basic settings before launching the store. So, let's go back to the store dashboard. And now we need to complete this checklist before launching our store. The next step on the list is to add a new page. So, click on Add Pages. It will take you to the Pages section. We can access this page from the left menu as well. Then click on Add Page. Here you can add the title and the content. You can use this section to create your FAQ page, About Us page and so on. Since we don't have anything to add here, we'll just type sample page on the title and hit save. Then, let's go back to our home page. The next step on the checklist is to add a domain name to our store. You can add your custom domain name here, which will be the official web address of your store. Then, the next step is to add a name to your store. Personally, we recommend you to add your store name first, then add a domain name to your store. To name your store, click on Name Store. Or you can go to Online Store, then go to Preferences. Here, you can add your homepage title and description. Make sure to add your target keywords in the description, as it will help you to rank in the Google search results. When you scroll down, you'll see this password protection section. Right now, your store is protected by a password. Which means, if someone will try to visit your store, they'll see a page like this, asking password to access the store. To launch your store, we need to disable the password protection. Only then people can visit this store. To disable the password, we need to pick a Shopify plan. So, click on Pick a Plan option here. It will redirect you to this page. Now, depending upon your store location, you'll see the Shopify plans in your local currency. Since we selected this demo store location to India, we are seeing the plan in Indian currency. The basic Shopify plan is the most popular plan of Shopify. So click on Choose Plan. Here, we need to select the billing cycle. By default, the monthly billing cycle is selected. But you can save 10 to 20% with the yearly billing cycle. After that, you need to add your business address here. And then add your payment method here. Since this is just a demo store, we will not choose any of the payment plan. But we will still give you a walkthrough of all these settings. So, once you'll add and verify your information, this subscribe button will be activated for you. Then you can click on subscribe to start your billing cycle. Once it's done, you can come back to online store, click on preferences, and then you'll be able to disable this store password. For now, we will just change the store password. And then hit save. Now we are almost done with our store. Now, click on Settings on the bottom left. Under Store Details, enter your store name and contact details. Then scroll down and make sure that the store currency and units are displayed correctly. Next, we are going to set up payments so that our customers can check out using different payment methods. You can activate this default PayPal checkout on your store. Or, you can also add other payment methods from here. You can choose different payment providers from this list as well. To activate PayPal into your store, click on this Activate button and then Confirm. Then fill out all the information carefully to get paid. You can also set up a manual payment method. Here, we will select Cash on Delivery as our manual payment method. So, click on Cash on Delivery option and click on this Activate button. Now, let's go to Shipping and Delivery option. Then under Shipping, click on Manage. Here is where we can decide how much we want to charge for shipping our products. We can define different shipping rates for different shipping zones. By default, the current shipping rate is set to free, which means that there is no additional shipping charges for any of our products. So, we are not going to make it complicated and leave it as it is. Of course, you can add your own shipping rates based on your pricing strategy. Next, we need to set up our own domain name for this store. So, let's go to Domain. Here you can see that the current domain name is looking very unprofessional. 
If you have already bought a domain name for your store, click on Connect Existing Domain. Or you can simply buy a new domain from here, which will then be automatically connected to our store. Alright, now we've gone through the most important settings of our store. And our store is ready to launch as well. Now, it's time to recheck the store and make sure that everything is working perfectly. So, let's go back to the store dashboard. And then click on the little eye icon next to the online store option. This will open up a preview of our online store, where we can test the customer experience all the way to the checkout page to make sure that everything works. Make sure to check all the collection pages, product pages, and policies as well. Last but not least, we need to check if all the buttons and links are working perfectly. This is how you can create your own e-commerce website using Shopify. Now, if you need any help creating your website in Shopify, you can hire an expert from Fiverr using the given link in the description below. You can also contact us to get a fully responsive Shopify store as well. And make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching this video.